Welcome back. This is your host Abbas Alawadi from TFM, and uh, now I have my guest, Mr. Manuel yes. Carval Carvalho, who is the COO of Oman International Hospital, and he is here to talk to us about the tech that's involved in this hospital. So, as you know, Oman International Hospital is driven by tech. Okay, they thrive on tech. So, to start off with, Mr. Manuel, tell me about the equipments that Oman International Hospital has. Yeah. Uh, first of all, good morning, and good, it's, yep, it's good morning. very, very. Um, I'm uh, very happy to be here and talking with you about uh, the Oman International Hospital. Uh, and yes, <coughs> the hospital was conceived also uh, um, to answer the needs, uh, overall the needs of, of the healthcare problems that we've identified to serve uh, uh, the Omani population and to serve uh, our patients on a holistic way where we integrate the technology uh, with the culture of Oman. <coughs> technological, technological wise, so we have, um, as you spoke earlier about the centers, we have those four centers of excellence. Right. Of course, to support those four centers of excellence on which Mr. Marcelo has already talked about them, uh, I would say that the su to support these centers, we needed to have uh, facilities like our operating theaters. We have five operating theaters. They are all modular. I believe there is no other hospital in Oman featuring uh, modular, completely modular opla operating theaters. Uh, we have uh, one hybrid room, uh, which is probably the most advanced uh, uh, room operating theater uh, in, in Oman, even Can in the, in the public sector. Can you tell me about the modular part, though? I mean, I think the I want to know, part as you said, that it sets you apart. Yes. I want to know more about yes, it. Yes, okay. Modular means that we can uh, easily reconfigure and uh, it, is, um, it is like an integrated operating theater where you can adjust uh, from a control panel uh, the temperature, the humidity. You can you can do things like reconfigure anytime you want. You can reconfigure what you have inside the operating theater, even in the structure. Okay. So it's a different type of, of even of in the structure. Even in the structure. Oh, if I want to have a wall, uh, um, uh, a wall mounted um, um, inst instrument or right, something that right, I need right. to have. It is very easy to replace what it is and to just to have a new block. So it's like making a, an operating theater from Legos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so more like your home screen for yes, you can customize yes, it the way exactly. you want it so for different users. Uh, of course, yeah. this needs a, little, uh, a, lo a lot of instrumentation and a lot of techniques that need to go uh, into designing the operating theater. So it's, it, it's, it's not easy to, to, to design and to develop the concept, but in the end it is much more efficient. And uh, also for the user, uh, it increases also the, um, the infection control and the safety of the operations when we are doing the surgeries. Right. So it's, it's, better, it's, it's, it's always better to have this type of solution. Also the solution that we have for um, the hair that we have inside the operating theaters is much more controlled than uh, anything else. We, it is a new solution that was provided by the best company in the world in uh, in um, conditioning of air inside operating theaters. It is the version that was launched in 2020. So it's the, <laughs> the latest technology in, in air safety inside our operating theaters. But of course I could go uh, <laughs> with, with, uh, with yeah. all the things that we have, we have there. Like, uh, of course there is one thing, our, all our operating theaters, the technology inside, all, all, all everything is German. Oh wow! All okay. the equipment uh, that we have there, they were made in Germany, and uh, from the from the tables to the to the, the structure of the operating right. theater, the air conditioning of the operating theater. So they follow very strict rules, and they are on par with the best quality that we can we can think of. Um, we also also have a partnership with Siemens for the hospital. Uh, it, it is not a partnership where we have only the instruments and in the operating theaters. Right. We have, for instance, in our hybrid room, we have um, uh, a cat lab in, in inside uh, the, this hybrid room. A cat lab. Cat lab, which is uh, specifically cat or cat. 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 All right. Okay. C A T H. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. Got it. It's it's um it's um it's uh, it's a it's a lab that is dedicated specifically for cardiology uh, and interventional radiology. So um, basically, there we can do minimum invasive uh, surgeries uh, for for cardiac right. procedures. For instance, we can have a catheter that we can can put through the through a vein uh, in in, um, in 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 a, in a leg. It's a femoral. 
uh, access. Uh, and the catheter can go up to your heart. Up to your heart, yeah. And uh, you can do lot lots of things. There right. are th th types of procedures where you can burn a little bit pa a part of the heart if the heart is not synchronized, the beating of the heart is not properly synchronized. Let me, let we me can do something that let me synchronizes that the heart. You said you'll burn a little part yes, of the patient's heart. Yes, it's true. Heart Some techniques. In case of something <laughs> is off, okay. Yes, so <laughs> yes it's true. But it's of true. you guys know we better. Apply, we apply, right. we apply um, uh, uh, the catheter. Um, because it, it, the, um, there needs to be, um, um, uh, uh, there are treatments where we specifically burn a, a tissue of the heart to make it, uh, uh, to, make it to, to make to synchronize the heart. We can it say sounds it. fascinating. We can uh, say I mean, it like he this. knows what he's saying. We, as layman, we don't understand that when he says we're going to burn part of your heart, <laughs> it sounds scary, but he knows what he's doing. So now. What I noticed in your hospital as well, as soon as I walked in, now you see, for example, from your wards to uh, to your spa area, you mm -hmm. have a spa area yes, in your hospital. Yes, we have hospital. a medical spa. So, what kind of patients were you targeting with this uh, with this idea of a hospital that doesn't look like a hospital that I walk in and. For me, I feel like even if I'm not sick, I want to sit around the lobby yep. area because it's so pleasant. <laughs> yes, we want to mix. We want to mix um, uh, the the comfort that we have in the hospital with the functionality, and uh, it's it's very important. And uh, the aesthetics with the safety, it's it's a mixture of, of concepts that we always do in our projects. Uh, in, I'm speaking when we do our, our projects, uh, as, as uh, Marcelo was speaking earlier, we are from um, Ideal Med Global Healthcare Services, which is the operator of the hospital. Right. Um, and uh, we have developed other, other projects uh, in other parts of the world where we always mix, mix all the, these concepts. Uh, the basis is always the same, of course, as you, as you can see from the hospital. It has an Arabic uh, culture uh, inside the uh, right. uh, concept from uh, that mit mixes the Arabic culture. So um, this is very important for us, so that we see the treatment of a patient in a holistic way. It's just not delivering the right healthcare with the right professional, with the right equipment, but also we need the patient to feel well. And the concept of the medical spa. Uh, basically, it, it starts from the concept of a physiotherapy tri uh, unit uh, where we mix uh, concepts of well-being and uh, we, we, we had things that uh, are not available elsewhere in Oman, like the hydrotherapy unit we have there. Uh, the concept of hydrotherapy is not well developed here. here. Right, right. And uh, that's it. So we want to promote the well-being and so that the patient feels better and he, he recovers better. I like know there example, is a catch I that th sometimes he doesn't want to go out. But no, yes, I, I do get what you're trying to say that apart from, for example, if you look at uh, an athlete in Oman, mm -hmm. if he or she wanted another form of treatment to fix yes. their ailment. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, I never heard of hydrotherapy. Mm -hmm. I've yes. seen it on YouTube. Yes. Now I saw what you have over yes. here. So I know what you're trying to say when yes. you say in terms of catering to a, a wide variety of mm -hmm. uh, patients, yes. they're looking for a wide variety of treatments. Yes. Along with well-being. Yes, along with well-being. And yeah. we want to be um, inclusive and, and holistic in terms of, of the treatments that we have. For instance, one of our um, um, uh, excellent centers, the Mother and Child Center, um, in the child area in pediatrics, we are focusing on getting all the subspecialties here in the hospital like you don't have anywhere else. So we can we have um, endocrinology pediatrics, we have gastroenterology pediatrics, we have orthopedic pediatrics, we have neurological pediatrics, we have um, ophthalmologic pediatrics, we have dental pediatrics, so I could <laughs> go on. <laughs> so you understand, the point is, what is needed is that um, in every uh, in in the areas that we we are developing here is that we can provide all types of care and um, an holistic approach to the patient and to its problems. So we are patient focused, patient centered uh, in our delivery of care, and this is very important for everything we do. Okay, so um, this is something when we build the, the, everything that you see here from 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 that area. In the medical spa, we have the, the only uh, 256 slices CT scan, uh, which is the fastest CT scan that we have in Oman. Even in the public sector, there is no no 256 CT scan. Six slices, 
Okay. I don't so, know what that means, <laughs> yes. but I'll just say, wow, because wow. that sounds a lot, 256. <laughs> yes, yes, but it is, it, it, is, right. it is the most advanced thing on man. Basically, all the radiology equipment have radiation. Yep. Uh, yep. So from the x-rays, the CT scan, the mammograph, um, basically all of them have some form of radiation. Right. MRI doesn't have radiation, it's a different type. But it is not suitable for some from investigations. So yes, we have a three tails MRI, which has a magnetic field uh, where we don't have radiation. Uh, but for some studies, we need to, to source uh, through radiation treatments. Um, talking about uh, investigations, when we make a CT scan, we are inducing radiation to the patient. And um, we should avoid this. And this, this CT scan, is also very keen in, in terms of the, the dose of radiation that we give. It, it, it is of the latest technology and the, the quantity of radiation that the patient suffers from, these, uh, from, from the investigation is the lowest that you have anywhere in Oman. So basically Oman International Hospital not only diagnoses and treats you, but it goes that a step further in providing that even the side safety. effects are minimized yes. if, if, there, if there are any side effects that yes, are involved exactly. in terms of treatment. So what I'm going to do is, of course, as we know that Oman International Hospital is driven by technology, Mr. Manuel over here has given us uh, pretty much an overview of how they um, apply technology with yes. the services that they provide. I'll be very honest, 90% of the things I didn't understand. <laughs> but uh, it sounded like a lot, everything. So uh, come by and try it for yourself. Of course, that's what I can say. Get a feel of the place. Uh, I cannot describe it in words in terms of the experience that I had when I walked into Oman International Hospital. So you have to come in and try it for yourself. I'm not saying get sick. I'm just trying to say that uh, even if you believe in the well-being part, they have yes. it over here. Yes, because... Uh for instance, uh, there, are, there is one area, uh, the mother and child area, and if you are talking about obstetrics, you are not sick. A, yeah, a, a yeah. mother is not sick. Uh, right, She's right. having of a, course, a child so in that area. But of course, in other areas, even if it is uh, something uh, preventive, you don't need to be sick to attend to a medical facility. Right, right, right. Uh, you need to do checkups, you need to do uh, preventive medicine, and we are here also to help you because we have the best diagnostic equipment uh, And the best overall. lobby. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> catchy lobby. lobby, let me tell you, that doesn't look like a hospital <laughs> lobby. So, yes. so all, uh, like I mentioned before, you have to come and experience the place for yourself. Uh, Mr. Manuel, thank you so much You're for welcome, uh, filling us in pleasure. on the tech side and yes. explaining, it, explaining it in a way where you don't lose the essence of the explanation, but at the same time, people like me can understand what you're saying because okay. I know it's not very easy to explain tech. Thank you once again. You're welcome. Good luck with much. all your future projects also. and uh, welcome you. to Oman. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you for watching. There's a bus with you from Oman International Hospital. I'll be signing off as well and I'll see you in the next one.